G'day guys, how are you going? Um, this is an interesting one. Um, the lady here has called us out to change over a hot plate, but the trouble is the hot plate that she's bought um, is slightly smaller than the cutout. Now, back in the day, they had some funky cutout sizes um, for, for the hot plates, and it's very hard to match them nowadays. You, you can always go bigger and cut the bench out a bit, bit bigger, but sometimes that, that interferes with the, with the cupboards and, and the range hood and stuff. So, so it may be, you know, the bottom of the cupboard might be too close to the burner. So it's something that you got to watch out for. Um, so the standard standard cutouts, there's lots, and they're 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 pretty in, inexpensive to buy. But um, yeah, so we, she, she didn't have much option. The other, the only thing you can do really is just um, replace the whole top, or get some sort of surround made. So that's what I've done here. I'll go inside and I'll just show you um, what I'm talking about. All right, so here's the um, the hot plate setup. Um, you know, it's got the 600 range hood, which is pretty standard. And then the um, the range that she's she's chosen, as you can see, um, the the hole, the original hole, is slightly, um, yeah, too big. So, but this is a really nice range that she's chosen. So all I've done is um, I've chopped up this uh, bit of wood here. Um, so I've made that to fit. So fill in the hole so it's it's well supported and everything like that. And then. Um, I've had to take all these measurements to make up a surround to go around it and it's hopefully going to match this um, black glass here. So I'll get that um, sorted out and so I've got to just take the hot plate now out, put the surround in and then screw it all down back again. Um, so the reason we couldn't really go bigger, if we went up bigger, then this, this bottom here would probably be too close to the range hood because it's got to be like you know 600 from the top of this burner here. So if you would have you know, extended a, a, a bigger hot plate or something, then it may cause trouble with, the, with these uh, cupboards here. So anyway, so I'll get this out, um, put the gas on test, get it out, put the surround in and, and chuck it in. And then I'll show you when it's, um, when it's all sorted and finished. So, okay, catch ya. Yeah, so this is the um, surround I've got made up. And um, so I, I've tried to make the edge of it the same all the way around except at the back I didn't otherwise it'd be a little gap here at the back here so of course I didn't want didn't want to have that little gap there for food and stuff going in so hopefully when it's all sorted that'll go hard up against that tile there so it's really easy to clean and um, yeah stick it in so anyway so I'll just take this out and um, get it going So if you've got that hot plate problem that's got um, that you can't fit because you can't really go bigger because of the cupboards and you can't go smaller because there's going to be gaps on the side, I mean this is a really good solution. Um, so just get your gas plumber to measure up surround and, and, and get that sorted. Um, yeah, and it comes up a really good option. So just remember up the back, um, if you can, go all the way to the tiles. Um, so it looks, you know, so there's no bits of food and anything can go around. And also try and get the edges of the hot plate to be the same all the way around, um, except at the back, of course. But, but it'll look really, really awesome when it's finished. And I think it's been a, it's been a, quite a good result. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and um, there is hope for this kind of situation. So, and if you can't get anyone to do it, and you live in Perth, give us a call. We'll come sort it out. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.